Welcome to Newport Living and Lifestyles. I'm Kristen and I'm here with Dave McLaughlin. Hi Kristen. Hey, of Clean Ocean Access. Welcome to our office. Thank you. It's a lot of fun. They have a lot of artwork, which we will hear about shortly. Tell us about your mission. Our mission is action today so future generations can enjoy ocean activities. And when you think about that mission and ocean activities, what does that mean to you? Does it mean power boating? Does it mean swimming, surfing, or laying at the beach and getting a tan? Yes, 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 yes. So what we do <laughs> is make sure that you can continue to do that tomorrow and so that the next generation can do that responsibly. Fantastic. What are some of the ways that you guys are helping improve the water quality? Well, improving the water quality is something that we work on year round. The first steps by really regular water quality monitoring. So we do, we collect 12 samples on Thursdays and we collect eight samples on, on Saturdays and okay. it's all volunteer based. But then what we do with the data is then we identify where's the pollution coming from? What can we do to remediate it? And then we work with the towns and the policymakers to try to take action to improve the water quality. So it's a combination of people, policy, education, and outreach. And you guys have skimmers and some new programs. We do, we have trash skimmers in Newport Harbor, uh, up in Portsmouth, and we also now are putting in a trash skimmer in uh, the city of Providence at the Hot Club. Our opening oh, day yeah. is on Friday, okay. and we're also putting one in, the, one in the top fishing port of the United States, which is New Bedford, Massachusetts. So, so you're expanding. Well, what we're doing is we're helping to facilitate the cause. Okay. So we've got some great partner organizations. We're working with the Winoskatucket River Watershed Council in Providence, and we're working with uh, New Bedford Community Boating in New Bedford. And so they're really gonna take on the education arm and the outreach to advance our mission in other places. So our heart and our soul stays here, but we help yeah. people in other places. Well, you can't, you, you can't complain about expanding, so you also have a new composting program. We do, we do. Okay. So for years, like you've been to a beach clinic, we tell people, it's like, how do we solve this problem of litter on our shorelines that becomes marine debris? And we've always said it starts with behavior change on land. Mm -hmm. And we thought about what's a behavior that we have on land? And it really has to do with our waste, getting personal with our trash. And one of the huge things that we need to get back to is composting. Okay. So the idea is that with the Healthy Soils, Healthy Seas project is by getting people to start composting and taking food waste out of the trash, mm -hmm. you become more aware of the fact that you can recycle responsibly and the things that left over, they're really the low and no value materials in our lives that when okay. they fly to your car or you live at the beach, mm -hmm. you don't pick them up. And that's the litter that becomes marine debris that's killing our oceans. Yep. So the Healthy Soils, Healthy Seas project is about improving ocean health with behavior change on land. So get rid of one-use items. Yeah, you don't need one-use items. <laughs> yeah. And um, do you have, what's coming up with this project here? The art project, I the think. The art is, project. So yeah. this art project is awesome. So two local artists in Providence were actually out on the East Providence River. Okay. Connecting with the environment, thinking about art projects. And so they put together all of this ocean-based plastic pollution inspired artwork mm -hmm. to try to bring awareness to this problem and try to inspire prevention and also used to do, raise money too. Uh, and so all this artwork was on, on display at Coastal Contemporary Gallery mm -hmm. right near O'Brien's Pub in March. And now we brought the art exhibit here. Okay. You can come by our office anytime uh, between two and four and 30% uh, of the proceeds go to Clean Ocean Access. So we welcome the support and it's really to inspire people to think about uh, mm -hmm. the little issue that we've gotten into with uh, plastic pollution. I love that. So where can people go to find out more? What's your website? Right. Our website is simple. It's cleanoceanaccess.org. Uh, you can go there. You can sign up for our newsletter. You can support the cause. You can find all of our reports there. We've got a calendar page that has all our upcoming events. Mm -hmm. We've got those little buttons to collect, connect to on social media. So we're present mostly on Facebook and Instagram, a little bit of Twitter. Perfect. Uh, yeah. And tomorrow night, April 17th, we have an open house here in the office. So if you want to see an ocean view and, and meet a group that's working on protecting ocean health, you can come here from five to seven. It's 23 Johnny Cake Hill, Middle Turn, Rhode Island. Perfect. Awesome. Thank well, you. Well, thanks so much, Jay, for Peace coming out. on, and we look forward to seeing you All on right. Newport Living and Lifestyles. Bye. <laughs> How did it go? Four minutes. We're freeze framing. <laughs> <laughs>